Hi guys, let's imagine you are a car. You will need a petrol station. It doesn't matter how expensive they bought you. <laughs> Cars can become garbage without petrol station because they have to refuel. Long journeys make cars run on an empty tank. Even you and I will need a spiritual petrol station. What is your spiritual petrol station? For me, it is the church. Every time I go to church, mm, I feel refueled to run another mile. Every time I read my Bible, every time I listen to my favorite preacher, every time I pray a prayer to God, I feel rejuvenated. See, it doesn't matter how high your airplane will fly. If it doesn't refuel, it will crash. I have seen parents crash. I have seen churches, pastors crash. I have seen so many people because they don't know how to refuel. When Elijah in 1 Kings 19 got burned out, he said, kill me, O Lord. See, you can show signs that you are tired by saying weird things, not wanting to talk to anybody. Listen to me. They gave Elijah food, sleep, and a word. May the Lord teach you where to go and be rejuvenated. It can be even soccer. For me, when I watch football, I'm rejuvenated. Yes, that's for me. What's there for you? When I go to church, it can also be a friend. A friend that you talk to and you feel like your tank is running empty. You never make it. You are not married yet. But there is a friend that is a petrol station who says we shall make it here. May the Lord help you to identify the people that make you run empty and the people that fill you up. Let's pray. Dear Lord, any pastor watching me, any brother watching me, any parent watching me, any Christian that is tired and frustrated, remind them that reading the Bible, going to church, worshiping God, and a good friend can be petrol stations. What is your spiritual petrol station? Go to it, visit more, and God will bless you. You shall live longer. Amen.